Okay, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to create an image survey. Okay, now there are a number of different ways you can do that. You could use one of the, uh, the websites like SurveyMonkey. You could, there's even a website called Survey Legend, which is specifically to, to create uh, image surveys. But uh, I've decided that the easiest way for me is to use Google Forms uh, because effectively it's free if you have a, a Google, a Gmail account, um, which uh, a lot of us do. So, uh, and uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because over the last while we've been creating a number of different logos, uh, logo designs for the Planet Garden app. And we wanted to, uh, to get these designs out there into the community and get back some feedback uh, and a survey is a very good way of doing that okay so if you want to create a, an image survey here's what you do so you go into google drive and you um i've created a folder here i'm going to right click and i'm going to go down and go to more and i'm going to create a uh, click on google forms and this creates a google forms document okay so uh, I will name this, I'll give it a title. So I'm going to call this um, example image survey. Okay. So that's our title. And then the, the description, um, it's going to be clear in a second when I, sh when I preview it, uh, where this, all this uh, information appears to the user. Um, but uh, for now, bear with me. So uh, this uh, survey uh, asks you about, uh, ask you to choose uh, your favorite, sorry, favorite image. Okay. Now, when you first, when you create um, one of these Google Forms documents, you get one question already added. And this is a multiple choice question. Uh, which in fact is the one that we want. But I'll just run you through the different types of questions you can create because there are a number here. So if I click add question here, um, you can, um, it adds the question and I can then change the question type. Uh, the default is multiple choice, but I can change the question type by, you could have a text question or these are the responses. So you could be looking for a short response, a large response, multiple choice, check boxes. The difference between multiple choice and check boxes is with multiple choice, user can only select one answer with check boxes. They can select multiple answers. Drop, drop down one answer, but in a different, uh, appears in a different way. You, you could be looking for files, um, linear scale answers, and so on and so on. Okay, so uh, in our case though, we want uh, multiple choice because we just want one answer. So uh, I am going to delete that one that I created there. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna, this will be my question. So I'll say, uh, select the image that you prefer. And now I'm going to go in and I'll change the, the, the answer text in a moment, but firstly, I'm gonna add an image. So I click add image uh, I could select it from images that I already have uploaded to Google Drive, or I could choose an image to upload. And here I have a number of uh, these logos, these Planet Garden logos. So I'll choose one of them. It'll upload it. Um, it's added it there, and I'll give it a name. So I'll give, call it Spade One, okay? Uh, because I have other spades. So then I can go, I can create another one by just clicking on this Add option. I click another Add Image and I'll select the second one. Okay, and I'll call this, when it's added, I'll call it spade two. Okay, so you get the idea. I can add multiple images there and it'll create a long list of these images that the user can then choose from. So uh, the final thing to say just, I mean, that's pretty much it, but the final thing to say is if you want the user, if you want to ensure that the user answers um, a particular question, you just, check that uh, that box there so it's required okay so then what happens well uh, i can click on preview and this is what the user will see the respondent will see so there you have your uh, your title your about and your your first question you can see it has a star there to say that it's required so i'll i'll answer here i'll select say the second one this is the image that i prefer i click submit and if 
and and that's really it but back at um back on the uh the admin side i can see here i've got a response so i click on response it's summarized the response there it's saying 100 percent of people have selected space two which is correct um and i can i can look at individual responses we only have one there so it'll just show that well the first user selected spade two if there were more it would, it would go through them all and the other kind of cool thing is you could you could then export it to uh, a spreadsheet you could click on this and it'll export that to it to a new um google sheets document um so that's uh so it's 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 pretty powerful if you uh particularly with graphics i think um it's it's nice to get it can be a bit subjective you can get a bit um you know you, you lose the forest from the trees so it's nice to 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 get uh, feedback from a community um and a really quick way of doing that is to use google forms and then to share it on social media okay so um i hope you got something out of that and i'll see you next time